Hey guys, Credo Crypto here with a new YouTube tutorial. This one is going to be on Syncquote, a decentralized options and perpetual futures exchange. Many of you have been asking me about alternatives to centralized exchanges. For reference, centralized exchanges are exchanges like Binance, Bybit, and Wuex that are essentially companies that custody your assets for you and allow you to trade on their platforms while they maintain control of your crypto. Some of you may have heard the saying, not your keys, not your crypto. The idea is that you've seen a number of situations that have led to people losing their crypto. Mt. Gox being the first big exchange that went down with a ton of Bitcoin lost. We then had Cryptopia, if you guys were there back in the day when Cryptopia existed back in 2017. Then we had FTX, of course, which is the big one that many of you are probably familiar with. But we've had this constant issue with centralized exchanges where there's some level of risk situation happening like that where you can possibly lose your crypto. And so over the last three to six months, and I would say especially since the collapse of FTX, there has been renewed interest in decentralized exchanges. Decentralized exchanges are unlike centralized exchanges. They actually allow you to custody your own assets and there is no central authority that controls the protocol. In this case, the protocol is run on smart contracts. There's no centralized entity that is custodying all the crypto for you. And so for this reason, people seem to be preferring these more. Now, like a centralized exchange, the biggest difference that you're gonna find here with decentralized exchanges is the liquidity because decentralized exchanges are still new and up and coming and there isn't as much volume being traded on these exchanges as there is on a centralized exchange, but this is something that we will see improve over time. In any case, guys, this is a video tutorial on Syncquote. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of a background about Syncquote, why I'm making this video on it, what's my experience with it. I'm also gonna show you guys how to create an account and get started, and we're also gonna show you guys how to place your first trade. Stay tuned till the end guys because there is a trading competition being done by Syncquote that is going to start later in this week actually on January 27th and they're going to be giving away $10,000 of rewards to those traders and because this is a very new protocol there aren't a ton of active traders on it yet and so I think your odds of being one of those top traders should be decent if you have experience trading on top of this guys we are also hosting a independent competition exclusively for my followers only or those that sign up using my ref link which will be in the video description if you sign up using my ref link then you'll be entered automatically into my my competition, which will also be starting on the 27th. My competition exclusively for my users will also be giving away $5,000 in rewards to the winners in my competition. So you can enter into both of them. The one that's giving away $10,000 of rewards by Syncquote, and then independently, if you use my ref link, you'll automatically be entered in the one that's giving away $5,000 of rewards in a separate competition. So with that being said, guys, let's talk a little bit about the background of Syncquote, how I found it. Some of you may recall that I was trading Bitcoin options maybe six months to 12 months ago, back when Bitcoin was about 30K. I was looking for the best way to get Bitcoin options exposure on the move that I expected that was coming to 60 to 70K or new all-time highs. And I knew it was gonna be an explosive move. I was very confident. And so I wanted to buy options to kind of amplify my exposure to Bitcoin at the time. And I actually wrote an article on Twitter that talks about my entire journey through that period. I tried three to four decentralized options exchanges. I also tried traditional options brokers as well and traditional finance. And I talked about my whole experience in that article, which will also be linked in the video description description. But long story short, guys, after trying three or four decentralized options exchanges, I came across Syncquote. And Syncquote was the only one that was able to handle my volume and size of options trading that I was trying to do. So I was trying to buy a significant amount of call options. Most of the other platforms that I tried couldn't offer me that. They didn't have the liquidity to offer me that type of size. Syncquote was the first platform that was able to fill larger orders of mine for Bitcoin options. And so using Syncquote, I ended up sticking with them after trying three or four. I used them for my options trades and I talked to the team a lot over the next two months while I was actively building positions for this rally. So I got to know the team really, really well. A bunch of guys from Stanford, Berkeley, Microsoft, and Google. And I actually ended up investing in the company as well. So if you want to know more about my personal experience using the platform, where I actually compare the product versus traditional finance products, you can go ahead and read the article, guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the actual protocol. I'm gonna show you guys how to create an account. I'm gonna show you guys how to place your trade and hopefully you guys will enjoy this tutorial. So guys, here we are at the homepage and you can see here that they do offer both options and perps now. Again, previously this was just a decentralized options exchange, but they've now added perps and they're planning on adding spot trading as well. We're gonna go ahead and click launch app. 
And over here, there are two ways that you can actually get started. You can click here, log in at the top right hand corner. You can also go to the original homepage and either choose connect wallet or log in with email. These are the two ways that you can actually get started. And they're very self-explanatory. If you connect your wallet, you can connect using MetaMask, Rabi, Coinbase, or a number of other wallets. You're gonna click on connect. It's gonna open MetaMask. It's gonna ask you to confirm the connection. And then you'll be connected to the app with your wallet. Now, the other way that you can do this, which is actually very very, very straightforward and simple is you can actually just log in with an email address. So if you don't have a wallet like MetaMask or Rabi already installed on your computer or on your mobile device, you can simply log in with your email. You can type in your email address and you can hit enter. It's then going to send a confirmation code to your email address. And when you enter that code in here, you will then be logged into the platform. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the app. This is the second way that you can log in by clicking the login button at the top right. And then again, you can either put in your email address here or you can connect with a wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect right now using an email address. And as you guys can see, we're now logged in and we have a Synquo key generated, which basically means that the website has created a wallet in the background for us to now deposit funds into and trade with because we don't have a MetaMask or a Rabi wallet. Again, you can connect either way, but this is gonna be the simplest way to get started. Just throw in an email in there and you can now use that email to log in and it is now associated with this wallet that has been created in the background to hold your funds. So now that we're logged in, we can see here that this is the initial user interface. We have here at the top left-hand corner, the menu that has perps, options, portfolio, rewards, and leaderboards. Again, this is the options interface and this is the perps interface. Soon there will be a spot option here as well when they do add that in. We have this portfolio tab as well. And you can see here that this will show you your current account equity, volume, et cetera, et cetera. Very, very simple and straightforward. You can also see current positions, orders, trades, et cetera here. And now we'll go back to the perps tab. And we can see here that this is currently Bitcoin. They do have a number of coins currently active for perp trading, including some of my favorites, obviously, and I'm sure they'll be adding more soon. It feels very much so like a centralized exchange in terms of the user interface. We'll go ahead here and make a trade soon, but this is the basic interface. There's really not that much to it. There doesn't need to be. They've done a really good job of making this very simple and straightforward to use without too much clutter. And we can see here that there is a rewards tab. And so guys, really quickly, what I want to add on as well is that in the same way that Hyperliquid, some of you may be familiar with Hyperliquid, recently had an airdrop. Hyperliquid is probably the leading decentralized exchange in the space right now. And there was a ton of chatter about them recently because they did a massive airdrop to the tune of billions of dollars to their users. And so a lot of people who had used Hyperliquid over the past six to 12 months received a massive airdrop. Some people that I know received literally hundreds of thousands of dollars in free tokens. I know some that actually received seven figures of free tokens. Key here is that there is plans on doing some sort of an airdrop. There's currently no token for Synquote. So there's nothing to buy or invest in right now, but they do plan on launching a token down the road. And there is a rewards program that they're working on right now that's currently active that is very similar to the rewards program that Hyperliquid had in that if you are actively using Synquote and you're trading here, you get points points, a portion of those points will then translate to tokens at the launch of their tokens. So very similar to Hyperliquid, a lot of people who got in early on Hyperliquid made a ton of money. And for people who ignored it or didn't pay attention to it, they missed out on that airdrop. Personally, me, I didn't use Hyperliquid at all. I used it one time for a CRV trade. And so I didn't have much activity on it, so I didn't get an airdrop, but I know many people that did. This is basically an opportunity to utilize a new platform, try it out, and in the process, potentially get rewarded with some tokens when they do have their token launch event. But this is a page where you can actually see the amount of points that you've earned. You earn points every single week when you trade, and you can also see your referrals here, as well as referring other individuals to the platform as well that can allow you to earn even more points for this eventual airdrop. With that out of the way, guys, the next tab that we have is a leaderboard tab. This is where you can see information on various competitions that are going on at the time. For example, this competition, the Synquote Snipers competition, is the one in which they are giving away $10,000 to winners. Winners are ranked by percentage of profitable trades with the top traders earning up to $3,000 in prizes. This is really cool because it means that you don't have to worry about trading with a small amount. I know that there's traders of all levels with traders of all different sizes. And so typically in a trading competition, when they go off of profit and loss, you have the biggest traders that will win those and the smaller traders don't really get a chance. By going off of percentage of profitable trades, that eliminates the bias with size and allows even the smallest traders to potentially win the rewards, which will be up to $3,000 for the top traders. Again, this is $10,000 being given away with the top traders earning up to 3,000 in prizes. You can then also see weekly leaderboards, global leaderboards, and legacy leaderboards that show the total amount of points earned 
by people that are currently using Syncquote. This is a weekly leaderboard, so these many points have been earned in the week. This is the global leaderboard, etc. I will also add that again, because this is a relatively new platform, perps were just launched a couple of weeks ago, you don't have that many people actually participating right now. And so it's pretty easy to rack up points here and be the top point earners, which again will translate to a potential airdrop down the road. So it's a great time to take advantage of the platform when not many people are aware of it and you can kind of earn points ahead of the crowd. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the perp platform again and we're gonna go ahead and make a trade. Now you'll see that this looks very similar to a centralized exchange. This here on the right is the place where you can enter in orders. You have buy and sell market orders and then you have buy and sell limit orders. We're gonna go ahead and choose our asset of choice. Let's go with XRP for now. And we can see here that we can order the total quantity of XRP that we wanna buy, for example, 1000. We can choose whether we want that to be a market order or a limit order, and then we simply click buy. Now, in this case, I haven't yet deposited funds into the account. So let's go ahead and deposit some funds so that we can place this buy order. All right, guys, so there's actually two ways that you can make a deposit here. So the first way, if you did register on Syncquote with your email address only, the first way is going to be pretty straightforward. You just go to a centralized exchange of yours, let's say Bybit, Binance, or Woo, and then you go to the withdrawal tab and you make a withdrawal to deposit those funds to the deposit address that is shown right here. Right now, they only accept deposits in USDC, so you go on your centralized exchange, convert some of your funds into USDC, and then you go to the withdrawal tab and you send USDC to the wallet address that you see here. Again, this is on Arbitrum, so make sure you don't send Ethereum or ERC20 USDC. You wanna make sure that you select Arbitrum on your withdrawal screen on this centralized exchange, and then send Arbitrum USDC to this wallet address. And if you do that, the funds will appear here in your current account. Now, the other way to make a deposit is if you have connected a wallet like MetaMask to Syncquote, you can deposit directly from your wallet. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna disconnect the email address here. I'm going to connect using MetaMask and I'll show you guys the second way to make a deposit. All right, so I just disconnected. I'm going to click login again. I'm going to connect using my wallet this time. I'm going to select MetaMask. All right, so I've now gone ahead and connected my wallet using MetaMask to the website. Now we're going to go ahead and click deposit again and we can select from wallet this time. And now we can go ahead and choose a network. Again, I have funds on my wallet. I have USDC in my wallet from the Ethereum network. The great thing about depositing from your wallet is that you're not limited to just Arbitrum. You can choose any of the popular networks. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Ethereum. I'm gonna to choose to deposit $250 of USDC. It's currently fetching a quote. And it says that I'll receive about $247.50. I'm gonna go ahead and hit deposit. And now we simply wait for the transaction to go through. The deposit just went through. That took about 45 seconds and the estimated time is normally a minute, so it sounded just about right. That was a deposit straight from the USDC on Ethereum from my wallet into Syncquote. So now that we've completed the deposit, we now have $250 to actually trade with. We're gonna go ahead and buy some XRP here. XRP is currently trading at $3.12. I'm gonna go ahead and buy, let's go with 15 XRP. So that's about $50 worth of XRP. Before you trade for the first time, you have to generate this key that allows the platform to access your wallet to trade. Once you do that, it takes about two seconds to approve the transaction. You're good to go. The key has been generated and we can now place our order. So I'm gonna go ahead here and just place my market order for XRP. You can see that, the order has been opened. We've now bought 15 XRP at market price. The average cost was $3.13, total value of $46.95, and my profit right now is currently a loss of four pennies. You can also see here there's leverage, and I'm currently using cross margin. Again, guys, if you aren't familiar with the difference between cross and isolated margin, and you're not familiar with how leverage works, I recommend not using it or pausing before you use it, doing some research to understand what leverage is, how it works, and how to properly use it. Because if you don't understand this, there's a good chance you will lose your funds. You really need to understand what you're doing before you do it in this space. Of course, not financial advice, but please make sure that you understand the concept of leverage and how it works and what your liquidation price is and what the leverage means and all these things before you do take a trade. With that being said, we're now in the trade. We'll be closing this here shortly. I'll close it at the end of the video. We'll see if we make some money or not. But again, this is how we go ahead and place a trade. We can also set limit orders. We have a nice potential little trade here. We have a little support block here. We're gonna go ahead and change this to green and we'll just go ahead and take this trade so I'm going to go ahead and set a take profit and stop loss order. The take profit order will be for $3.20. The stop loss will be for these lows here at $3.05. For the take profit will be 3.20. And then the trigger price for the stop loss will be 3.05. And you can also set this with a percentage, but if you guys know how I trade, we don't look at percentages, we focus on the price levels. So I'm gonna set the order there. You can then choose how much of the position you wanna close. I wanna close the entire position, but if I wanna close, say two thirds of it, I could adjust that. 
and then we'll go ahead and set take profit and stop loss. And once that's done, you can see the orders have now appeared here on the screen, and we can actually adjust them just by dragging, editing the order. This is very similar to what you'll see on a centralized exchange like Bybit if you're familiar with using it. So we're gonna go ahead and just edit this back, and we now have our trade set up. We have our entry. Again, normally in a situation like this, guys, the ideal entry would be down here at local demand. It would not be up here in the middle of the range, but this is just for an example's sake. Now when price either hits this level, I'll get stopped out, or if it hits this level, it'll take profits. So we're gonna let that one run. We'll come back to this in a couple of minutes. All right, guys, so I was gonna wait for this trade to play out, but it is taking a long amount of time. And so we're just gonna go ahead and we'll close out this trade here. I'm down 37 cents on the trade. We haven't hit the stop loss or the take profit, but we're gonna go ahead and close this out. So I'm gonna hit close here. It's gonna ask me how much of the position I wanna close, submit a market order, position closed. So that's all there is to you guys. You can see the interface is very smooth, just like a centralized exchange. But again, this is a decentralized exchange. You can use your own wallet to access. You can use an email to get access. And again, guys, as we wrap up this video, keep in mind two main things. Number one is that there is a points program going on based on your trading volume. So the more that you use a platform, the more points you're gonna get every week. The earliest users will typically have an advantage over ones that join later. So make sure that you do join. And also keep in mind that there is the trading competition starting on January 27th. And remember, use my reference to sign up to single if you decide to give it a try and if you do use my ref link be sure to jump into the trading competition on the 27th again my personal one there'll be a reward of 5,000 and then the general competition where everyone can participate will be a reward of around ten thousand dollars guys that's it for this tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoyed it keep in mind that there will be a lot of new features coming to sync quote in the future and so i will keep you guys updated as they develop i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful and i'll catch you guys in the next one